Welcome to Roaming with the Ramseys. I'm Gordon. And I'm Alice. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell so you'll get notifications when we upload new content. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. You can give us a thumbs up anyway. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so today we're at Wire Pass in Kanab, Utah, getting ready to go on a hike. Should be pretty neat. So this hike is about three to three and a half miles round trip. Uh, there is a ladder that you'll have to do. It's like an eight foot drop. It is dog friendly. So we do have Sky with us today. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive With every start We are born again Just did our first slot canyon here on the Wire Pass Trail. Really neat. Really neat. That was like my first slot canyon ever, and that was really cool. Okay. Hardest part, of course, was there's about an eight foot drop that they've got a ladder, a homemade ladder, up against. So I had to carry the dog down that. But uh, otherwise, really neat trail. Yeah. A uh, little soft sand that you're going to be walking in, but pretty much really easy. It's just walking through a wash. Yeah, it's been really flat, really easy, and really nice. The gear that I think is important to bring with you when you do a hike like this, of course, remember you're in the desert. Don't forget your water. Bring a backpack so you can have plenty of water with you. We have our gaiters on today. Good shoes, good solid shoes, so you can walk in the rocks and the sand and climb down the ladder. And don't forget your hat because the sun is bright. Very bright, <laughs> and even though the temperature is not too bad, very hot.
right, well, that's like two or three different slot canyons that we went through. Um, after the first couple, you come to a wide opening in this trail, which is kind of where we're at now. And then there's a right-hand turn and a left-hand turn. Make sure that uh, you look for the petroglyphs that are on the wall behind us um, when you come into this area. They're pretty neat. Hard to see because, you know, being a canyon like it is, water runs through here and I imagine it's worn it off a little bit. But you can still see them if you look. Um, going to the right, the trail's a little bit more packed and kind of rocky, yeah, I would say. Yeah, rocky, yeah. Now, if you go to the left, expect that really super soft, powdery sand. <laughs> right, that's hard to walk through. <laughs> that's really hard to walk through. <laughs> um, it's still a good walk either way. The canyon to the left, the slot canyon toward the left from here, seemed... Um, wider at least the yeah. part that we went through so pretty cool and the part to the right if you keep walking long enough you'll end up at lee's ferry truck now we did about five miles today yep uh, not bad Either the thick sand gets a little bit of a challenge but uh, otherwise pretty good well worth the hike yeah. that was beautiful very much so um, slot canyons if you've never been in one this is a pretty easy one to get to mm -hmm. walking the wash wasn't too bad it's just when you got into the soft sand that it was a little bit of a challenge otherwise great hike pretty popular there's a lot of people here a lot of people parking lots full so you're not gonna have it to yourself come early because later in the day when it gets hot it's hot it's hot absolutely right. I did read somewhere too I can't tell you where I read it because I don't remember but it said it's not recommended for summer hiking because it's too hot so that's why we're here in November yeah, November <laughs> and it's like 75 degrees is almost too hot